Hey guys, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be the January Battle of the Boxes. So we've got a boxy charm, we've got Ipsy, so we are going to put them to the test and see who wins this month. I know I keep saying that like each month will probably be my last month that I will cancel Ipsy, but I legitimately keep forgetting every single month, like literally every single one. Yeah, I know, I suck. But anyway, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do Ipsy first. I don't know why I like to do Ipsy first, probably because I'm usually not as impressed with Ipsy. But anyway, let's just go ahead and open her right up. So I don't feel anything, whoa, didn't wanna show you guys that part. <laughs> I don't feel anything inside, inside except for the bag, so. Oh, this is a cute little bag. So this is the January bag. So you've got some cute little stripes here and then you do have some pink details on the sides and everything. Um, it's not super wintry. I feel like this is more of a spring bag, but who am I to judge? I mean, how hard is it to come up with a new concept every single month for like years? So the card for this month says new year, more products, more focus on you. We love that. We love to focus on ourselves. So first thing is a strange little cardboard box. This is the Akar Skin Mini Care Lip Butter organic and non-toxic so i'm assuming this is um also probably alto also going to be cruelty free so you've got like this tiny little thing here um it doesn't smell like anything really oh it feels kind of like vast it feels just like vaseline um but you can see there it does have like hydration like you can see it's got a bit of a shine to it um, I feel like this would definitely do a really good job of hydrating your lips. It doesn't feel like oily. It just, I mean, it literally feels and looks like Vaseline. So if you prefer something like super hydrating like this, then you would probably really like this. And it does have a little bit of a smell. Um, it doesn't smell bad though, I don't think. I don't know. I'm not even going to try to describe the smell. Also, this box though is super janky. Like it literally just fell apart. Um, but yeah. So yeah, that's nice. I like that. I always get super dry lips in the winter. So something like that is always really good to have. Um, next, let's do this thingy. Ooh, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour full coverage foundation. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and first off say that also excuse the fact that like my hands are super white and my face is really dark. I'm like in a weird self-tanner awkward spot right now so let's just move on from that but um when I filled out my boxy charm or my ipsy bag um well that might match I don't know um I did fill out that I was super pale because I had that was before I had started self tanning so um I don't know I like getting like stuff like this in the box it, or the box or the bag or whatever but at the same time it's it's hard to like match people like perfectly but I mean you can always mix it with something else or like if it's too dark you can use like a, a lightener this is not as fair as I am though like this would be like good for me like self tanned like I feel like that's not like a oh it's soup oh my oh wow okay if you don't like light coverage or like thick um, like foundations, you would not like this. This is super thick. It is creamy, but it's very thick and it's definitely got like an orange undertone to it. I, I wish you guys could really see it on my hand, but you can kind of see it there. Um, so like my hand is like super pale, like that does not completely blend into my hand. It does have like kind of an orangey tone to it, like from what I'm seeing. So, um, I mean it does blend out like really nicely, but like I said, it is thick, like she is thick like she ain't fat bra she's just a little thick like that's thick but I'm excited to try it um if you want something like light coverage and like every day I don't think that that would be the foundation for you like I said I haven't tried it yet but you know just saying um well this is a huge box what is this this is the color um color what is color lub I don't know, because there's like an L-U-B. Do you see that? Like underneath color. Um, but it's a, uh, a lip, I was going to say lip gloss. A nail polish. 
I've never heard of this brand before. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty though. It's like blue, but it has like purple, like shimmers in it. Um, This is gorgeous. I don't know anything about this brand or how, like how long it lasts or anything like that, but the color is gorgeous. Um, I was looking to see like if there was any, it's very plain packaging. It just gives ingredients. It doesn't say like it's um, sulfate or like any of the freeze, anything like that. It's not cruelty free from what I'm seeing. So, um, if you're against that kind of thing for nail polish, then I probably wouldn't recommend this, but again, do your own research because they don't always put everything on these little boxes. Next up, it feels like we have two more things left. <gasps> oh, okay. I have an eyeshadow from Naked Cosmetics already and I love it. So what is this? This looks like a blue. Um, I love blue eyeshadow. <gasps> oh, okay. I'm going to try. I'm going to try not to make a huge mess. But I'm going to try and swatch this for you guys. So, so let's see if we can. Okay, so this is definitely going to be more of a a topper. Um, but this is a gorgeous blue shade. It's like a shimmery blue. Um, I do believe Naked Cosmetics is cruelty free. Um... And the one eyeshadow from them I do have, I do really enjoy. So you can see it's very sheer. So this is something that I would definitely, like, say you're going to want to pack on, like, over top of a shadow or, like, some sort of, like, glitter glue or something like that. But it is very pretty. Um, and you can see it's it's pretty, like, it, you can see it a lot better on my finger because I have it all on there. But I think if you really packed it on the lid, it would look really, really cool. Um, and then, I should have brought a paper towel, I forgot. <laughs> the last product is oh, from Ola Neon. The Velvet Liquid Lipstick Matte Long Lasting and Moisturizing. Those are a lot of claims. Never tested on animals, free of parabens, gluten, and sulfates. I've never heard of this brand. And the color is called DF. I don't know why that's a color name. The packaging on this is really pretty, though. I love the gold. Like, this is very, like, high-end, expensive-looking. I've never heard of the brand Ola Neon, but this color is gorgeous, too. It's actually kind of similar to the color I have on, which is, this is Anastasia. Um, like, just regular lipstick, but let's go ahead and give her a little swatch -roo. Ooh, that's super pretty. We'll keep an eye on it and see how long it takes to dry down, but that is a really gorgeous color. So hopefully this formula is good. I'm excited to try this out. All right. So is everything in Ipsy? I'd say that was a pretty good bag. Um, I probably won't use the nail polish. I might give it to my friend, but I'm excited about the lip gloss. I'm interested to try the foundation. Um, I am really excited about this blue eyeshadow. And then I know I'll definitely use this. So overall, I would say that was a pretty decent bag. Like the nail polish. If I still painted my nails all the time, then this would be like a home run. So this was actually a really good bag this month. Very nice. Um, I did keep the lipstick on. It's almost fully dried down and it's only been like a couple of minutes. Um, so that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and get into the boxy charm. Okay. Let's open her up um okay so the theme for this month oh that's cute is boxy and chill there's like popcorn and stuff on here that's super cute all right first thing in the box is let's see oh i already watched kathleen's video so i guess i really won't be that surprised i already know a bunch of the stuff that's gonna be in the box sorry but i always watch kathleen so um first thing is the briogeo don't despair repair Strength and Moisture Leave-In Mask. No sulfate, silicones, or parabens. Um, Kathleen raved about this. If you want to know more about it, I would definitely go check out her video. But basically, it's like a leave-in mask um, that's supposed to like moisturize your hair and strengthen. So um, I think you can do this wet or dry, but I'm really excited to try this because I'm, I'm in the process of lightening my hair. Um, it looks kind of yucky right now, actually. But I do need to get, like, a, yellow, a purple shampoo, so that's why. Um, but I am really excited to try this, and since I'm doing this all the time, then this will help keep my hair nice and healthy. So I'm super excited about that. I've never tried Briogeo, but everybody raves about them like crazy. Oh, actually, let's see how much. I think this is a sample. Um, so let's see. The Briogeo, um, 
This is the 20 ounce one, so I don't think this, this isn't full size, I don't think. Um, it normally retails for $16. It says, um, provides reparative benefits and beyond its unique formulation of micro-encapsulated argan oil, optimal blend of transformative nutrients that include B vitamins, coconut oil, algae extract, and biotin, help to promote healthy hair that will leave you looking your very best. So, lots of good ingredients. Very excited to try this. Next up, we have the Star Looks Black Ultra Lux Longwear Eye Pencil. So, um, oh, not this kind of packaging. Okay, hold on. <laughs> okay, I finally got it out. So, um, oh, this is a twisty eyeliner. And it's just a black eyeliner. So, let's go ahead and... Ooh, that was really creamy, actually. This box keeps sliding off my lap. Um, it's pretty black. I wouldn't say it's like the blackest black, but with this kind of formula, I feel like that is a little bit tricky to do, but it is super creamy and I like that it's a twist up so you don't have to sharpen it. So yeah, I'm as excited about a black eyeliner as you can be. I really like getting the colorful ones because I don't really buy those. Um, so that would have been nice, but this one's still really nice too. Um, and this is the long wear eye pencil. This is $19. Good grief. Who would pay that? I mean, somebody would. Like, no offense if you would, but I wouldn't because I'm cheap. <laughs> Next up, what is this? Ooh, okay. Um, I do remember that Kathleen said this was going to be in here. So there were three different versions of the Tarte Rainforest of the C palettes. Looks like I got volume three. Um, I've never had a Tarte palette, actually, so I'm super excited to... I got two Tarte products today, actually, which is cool. Um, so let's go ahead and open her up and see. So this is the packaging. Very pretty. I love the scales. It kind of reminds me of, like, a peacock, though, too, like the colors. And the gold is gorgeous. Like, it's just very, like, sturdy packaging. It gets really nice. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, okay, so I don't know what the other two packets look like, packets palettes look like but mine is all shimmers I only have yeah this is all shimmers so mine is completely all shimmers which this would probably bother some people um who would prefer to have like one-stop shop palettes but I don't really mind this too much because I mix my palettes a lot anyway um and so I don't really mind getting extra shimmers and I'm excited to test their formula um this does retail for what where is this? Um, oh, Tarte. These retail for $36. Sheesh. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches quick, and then I'll do, like, two live swatches for you guys. So just hold on. All right. So um, I did a couple of the swatches on my arm, which I'll show you in a second, but I'm going to do two live swatches for you. So I'm going to do the shades um, Heat Wave right here and Tiki. Or no. Yeah, Heat Wave and Tiki. So, very metallic and pretty. Now, I'm not going to lie, a couple of these did feel... Oh, this is a matte. Okay, so there is one matte shade in here. So, Tiki is the one matte shade in this palette. Um, how did I think I was going to be able to do this? I don't really know. Let's do it this way. Okay, so here is Heat Wave. And then here is Tiki, which is the one matte shade. So, here are all of the shades. Now, I'm not going to lie, the first two, like... I can see them, but for some reason they just felt, a, a couple of them did feel a little bit dry. Like, you can see they all look super gorgeous, um, but I would say that they did, some of them did feel a little bit dry, and I wasn't super impressed with the formula, but then again, some of the other ones felt really creamy and really nice, so I'm just going to have to test it out and, like, let you guys know what I think of it, but, I mean, so far, first glance, they're all, like, pretty typical colors. Um, I mean, they're pretty neutral, but it is nice and it's small enough that you could travel with it. So you just needed like a matte palette or, I mean, you could easily just do just, um, this one shade here, the matte shade in the crease, and then just like one shade all over the lid just for something like really quick and easy. Um, again, like I said, I'm going to have to try it out on my eyes because I don't want to judge it too harshly. And this is still really nice. It's small, it's compact, and the colors do look really pretty from, I don't know why I keep trying to do that. I suck at swatches. I'm sorry. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> so let's go ahead. 
What the heck is this? Okay. Oh, I forgot. Okay. So Kathleen, this was one of the things that Kathleen picked out. These are the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Masks. So I think this um is kind of like that mist that everybody talks about, but in mask form. Um, so these are actually $24 together. So it's just um two sheet masks. Um, let's see what kind of stuff is in here. Um, rice germ oil, um, botanical oil and extracts, leaves your skin feeling velvety, smooth, dewy, and luminous. Delicate microfiber of the sheet intensely drenches your skin with hydration. So it just sounds like it's really supposed to give you, like, a glowy, um, and, like, really hydrated, like, nourished skin. So that's really cool. Um, again, for winter, this is great because... Your girl needs some hydration. <laughs> so, last thing in the box. Is there another thing? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I forgot. I, like, watched Kathleen's video. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? I was editing a video the other day, and I literally had lipstick on my teeth for, like, a minute in the video. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Is this the whole rest of the video going to be lipstick? I mean, thankfully, it came off, but I was so so mad. Anyway, this is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. I didn't realize that Ofra like rebranded their packaging because I have an Ofra lipstick and it doesn't look like this from a previous boxy charm. I think it's, I can't remember what the, I, oh Verona. It's in the shade Verona, which I love. That's one of my favorite lipsticks that I own literally ever that I've ever tried. So this is in the shade Havana Nights. So this is very similar to the one I got in boxy charm. Also, this is completely dried down. Um, actually, let's test these out next to each other. But this is Havana Nights. This is one of the ones that Kathleen created with Ofra. This does look darker, though. So let's go ahead and actually put these side by side so we can see the difference. I just... First of all, Ofra's liquid lipsticks smell like vanilla. I love the smell of them. The formula is fantastic. It's not too drying. They last really well. Um... You can eat certain foods with them and you won't really have an issue. It'll come off maybe a little bit, but I, I honestly would say that this is one of the best, um, if not the best, liquid lipstick formula that I've ever tried um, for like longevity and just everything. So that is, wow, that's actually like, oh, that's awesome. Okay, because I actually was wanting a um, color like this, but in liquid lipstick form, and now I have it. <laughs> It probably matches, like, literally perfectly with the one I have on. Just such a pretty color. And I don't find these to be, like, streaky or anything. So, if you're looking into Ofra Liquid Lipsticks and you're not sure if you should get one, get one. Because they're amazing. Okay. Um, so, yeah. There's that. I love the color. It's gorgeous. Formula's great. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to have to say, once again, BoxyCharm killed it. Always killing it. Love the idea of BoxyCharm. Love the brand. They're great. I know that there's issues sometimes with them, but I've never had any issues with them. And I love their stuff. And I just love the concept. And I love getting all this makeup for so cheap. Um, speaking of, the Ofra Liquid Lipstick is $20 which is insane. That's such a good deal. Like the box itself is $21. Um, so I will go ahead and put the entire total of the box on the screen right now. So that way you guys can see what a great deal it is. BoxyCharm definitely won Battle of the Boxes yet again, January. Um, both of these were actually really great though. I'm really happy with everything that I got. So if you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below, as well as hit the little bell notification so you guys know every time I post a new video. And also, um, leave me down in the comments below, do you get BoxyCharm? Do you get Ipsy? Did we get anything similar? What did you like? Did you hate it? Did you love it? Um, any of that kind of stuff down below. I love talking to you guys down there, as well as any other video ideas you guys would like to see from moi. And I think that is everything, so I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye!